Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to create this text fill effect in Premiere Pro. So let's get on with it. Now inside Premiere Pro we have to create text first and to do that I'm gonna press T, go to the program monitor and type something. Now to customize the text I will go up to window and then I will go down to essential graphics. Then I will go down to text and from here I'm gonna select a different font. In this case I'm gonna use Balboa. And also I'll make the text a little bit bigger so it will be more visible onto the program monitor. From here, what I'll do next, I'll go down to the timeline and zoom in so we can see better. And then what I will do, I'll duplicate this text by holding Alt and the left button of the mouse, dragging it to one track above. Now what I will do next is select the second layer, the duplicated layer. Go back to the Essential Graphics panel, deselect the fill and enable the stroke option. I'll decrease the value to 1 and when I deselect the first layer, you can see what we achieved so far. Now, to create this effect, you can do it in two ways. The first one is by going to Effects and type down Crop. So I'm going to grab the Crop effect and drop it over to the first text layer. Then I'll go up to the Effects Control panel, select the Crop and as you can see now, the Program Monitor, we've got all these points highlighted in blue so what i'll do i'll drag this down and then i'll drag the bottom up and then i will drag the right side to the left until the fill text disappeared after that i'll go back to the effects control panel and i'll create a keyframe onto the right because we'll be using only this option then i'll select the crop and move the cursor let's say 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 frames forward and you can do this by holding shift and hitting the right arrow of the keyboard. Then I will drag the right side to the right until the fill text appear again. So what we've got so far is this animation. And if you want to make the animation faster, you can drag the second keyframe closer to the first one. And you've got a faster animation. Also to smooth the animation, I will select both keyframes. Right click, ease in, then right click, ease out. And then I will open the right properties. So then I'll select the second keyframe and drag this all the way to the left. And when I play it again, we've got this cool animation, but now it's too quick. So what I will do, I'll take the second keyframe and move it further away from the first one. And you can see that now the animation is much smoother. Now that's the first way of creating this effect. The second way of creating this effect is by creating mask over the first text layer. So again, I'll select the first text layer, go down to opacity and select the pen tool, or you can create a polygon mask. So let's create a polygon mask. So what I will do, I will drag the mask, then I will go to mask path and create keyframe over here. After that, I'll select the mask again, so we can see where is the mask on the program monitor. Click onto this little rectangle and then hold shift and click onto the second rectangle. So like that, when we move it, we're going to move both parts at the same time. Now again, I'm going to hold shift and hit the right arrow a few times. So around 40 frames. And then what I will do, I will drag the mask all the way to the right until the text is visible again. Also, the other thing you can do is to decrease the mask feather. And when I play it, we've got the same animation, but done in a different way. Also, if you prefer using the second way, there is a little trick that you can use for this animation. And this little trick is by going down to the inverted option and clicking it. And now as you can see, the fill text appeared. And when we play it, we've got this animation. The fill effect is disappearing. So basically, you can create two animations at the same time. And there you go guys, that's how you can create this simple text view animation in Premiere Pro. If you enjoyed the video and you learned something new, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more tutorials like this one. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye bye.